And welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very well, much for joining me. Where today I'm talking about Your Name, the anime film by Makoto Shinkai that everyone raves about. And spoiler alert, um, well, first off, no spoilers, but I'm going to rave about it too. Uh, but I'm not just going to talk about what I, what I felt about it. So Your Name is really more of a shoujo film than anything else. It is a uh, film about two characters in a relationship, um, sort of a long-distance relationship, which Makoto Shinkai definitely likes to tell stories about. And it's basically, um, and you probably know this by now, um, it's a story about two characters who end up swapping bodies. And then the um, things that they learn and the things that they do as a result of that. What makes the film work so well is the pacing of it. The fact that you get introduced to these characters fairly quickly and then you see how they um, deal with this very specific situation um, and what they do and the fact that they very quickly figure out, okay, we need some ground rules and we need to figure out what we're going to do and, and they kind of, there's obviously, there's, there's a certain amount of, well, I see how he could solve this problem, or I could see how she could solve this problem. And um, uh, and then, um, eventually, the, the, the story progresses into um, just larger things happen. It's not just a body-swapping thing. There's, there's some larger plot. Again, no spoilers. And that's what really impressed me about the film, is the fact that this could be just a nice, pleasant you know, romantic story about two characters who end up living each other's lives temporarily. Uh, but it's more than that. It's about how these characters really start to appreciate what other people went through and trying to then protect the other person in a way that they wouldn't have if they hadn't had that experience. Um, so it's, again, not just like a, a light, fun movie in that sense. Um, now, Makoto Shinkai is famous for his animation. The fact that his first work, Voices of Innocent Star, he animated entirely himself. And he has since put together a studio of people with his famous um, love of detail. And my gosh, I do not think I have seen a more beautiful film than Your Name. Um, and many people praise this for how realistic it looks. I think that's a bit of a, of a it's a bit misleading uh, to pay too much attention to that because uh, who cares if it's photorealistic? You can just take photographs. Um, what they do here is to lend this a depth, a a sense of being there uh, in the detail of these backgrounds. You really feel like you're in this situation. One of the elements of the story is that the the young man lives in Tokyo while the girl lives, boy, girl lives out in uh, kind of the boondocks in a, in a small uh, sort of rural area in Japan. Not farmland, but still, I mean, there's a lot of farmland around, but you know, they're not farmers. Um, but it is this quiet village kind of environment. And you get to understand and feel what it's like both in Tokyo and in these much, this much more quiet location. And that's one of the things I really liked about the film is, is that that art fit, that, that very detailed art, um, fit what the movie is about, about appreciating another place that you can't normally be in. Uh, and then that takes us to the direction overall. This is a generally, a, sorry, uh, this is generally a quiet, relatively slow-paced film. The ending um, moves a little faster, uh, the last act, basically, the last third of the film. But this is more of a film where you're just following these characters on their everyday lives, despite this unusual situation. And I found that that was handled well. Um, in a lot of movies like this, that can be very slow, and it can be like, okay, I know where this is going, or, okay, the character's walking to school, I don't know why I'm really seeing this. But the filmmakers avoid that trap. Whenever you see characters doing something, there's a reason for what they're doing. They're setting something up and they're kind of establishing what's going on. Much like a Ghibli film, there's not a lot of fat in Ghibli films. Um, some more than others, but in general, they're, they're fairly tight, and Your Name is definitely a tight film in that. 
So both the direction in terms of what's in there and what isn't in there, as well as the overall um, uh, sort of tightness of the editing and so forth is uh, definitely effective for what's going on here. This is one of those films where if you're not, if you don't get pulled in to the two main characters, um, you're probably not going to get pulled into the story. I don't know a lot of people who've watched the film and haven't been pulled into the two main characters, but it does ride on them. Um, and both of them are pretty normal people. Uh, they have their own personalities, definitely, but um, again, it's more of a slice of life sort of a story than a lot of others. So you're not going to see, you know, lots of big action. You're not going to see, you know, lots of big drama um, all throughout the film. It's it's a more quiet film like that. Um, and that's one of the things that's impressive about the film is that they don't rely on big personalities. Anime typically has these big personalities, these huge, huge characters. Um, that um, and which makes it easy to tell stories about, and that that makes sense. That is a, a wise thing to do, especially if you're, if you're building a, a large franchise. You want easily identifiable characters, um, but these are more like people you'd see in your everyday life. And the fact that they managed to make a, a film that still is so compelling to so many people with that is again, I think, uh, uh, quite impressive. Now, as the movie progresses, it starts delving more into the consequences of this body swapping. And as such, it is fundamentally a fantasy film in that sense, right? There is this thing that is causing them to do that. And, you know, there's not a big detailed, spoiler alert, science fictional explanation for why this is happening. There is an explanation, but it's not like, well, we, you know, you're in it, you're all, you know, um, um, there's a reason, but it's a fantasy reason, right? Um, and it works, and it makes sense, but you're going to need to expect that, and you're going to need to be willing to live with something. Um, I had a, a friend of a friend who didn't like anime unless it was realistic. I, he didn't want fantasy or science fiction in his anime. And there's just not much anime that doesn't have some science fiction or, or fantasy kind of woven into it. And this is another one of those things that does have fantasy in it. Again, I think it works. It, it, it folds together, but just be aware that that is central to, to the story. Um, I watched this version dubbed in English, and I was impressed with the dub. I think it fit very well. Again, for a movie, generally folks have a little bit more time. And that's important, because you don't have much time with the characters. They, they have to nail those performances very quickly. Um, you can't kind of live with a performance for a while and then really get, get used to it. So the fact that they got all these characters, I think, worked very well. There were a few side characters that I felt just felt, felt just didn't quite fit perfectly, um, where they just felt a little bit too shrill or a little bit too um, you know, off-putting, especially in a film about normal people. Um, but those were niggles. Those are just things that you, know, you notice in a, in a scene or two with very minor characters. And so I was very impressed with, with, with that there. Uh, so overall, um, Your Name is this, it's a beautiful and charming film. And I know folks use the term charming a lot, but I think it really fits Your Name. People come out of this film enchanted. And I think it's part of the magic of this film is that it's a lot of different pieces that individually don't feel like they make for a compelling experience. But it is undeniably compelling to many, many people. So I think it's worth seeing if just for that reason, to say why are so many people so into this film. Um, go into it with an open mind. Go into it understanding that it is not going to wow you with giant mecha battles or anything like that. Um, and I think you will find a remarkable little film.